I am Anil Kumar and here is your test problem on application of exponential and logarithmic functions. The question is, determine the doubling time for an investment which grows at a rate of 12.5% per annum compounded weekly. Remember, compounded weekly, right? So that's the question. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. The formula for you is, amount is equal to the principal amount. 1 plus rate of interest to the power of n where n is the number of compoundings which are done right in this particular question what we are given here is that doubling means a is equal to 2 times principal amount that becomes doubling right and rate of interest r is given to us as 12 point I mean 12.5 percent means out of 100 as compounded weekly that means 152th, right? In one year, there are 52 weeks, so we have to divide this by 52. So that is the compounding interest rate, I, right? So, and N will be equals to the number of compoundings done will be 52 in one year, right? So, so 52 in N number of years. So right here, N is number of years okay so that is how we can actually write down our equation now let us try to solve this equation so we have a as 2p so we'll write double the amount whichever is invested so in such questions you don't really need investment amount right 1 plus interest rate is 12.5 over 5200 correct okay? 5200 to the power of 52n right so that is how you get your equation now to solve this equation I'll divide by p so I'll get 2 equals 2 and here we can take common denominator so we have 5200 plus 12.5 divided by 5200 to the power of 52n Let's take log both sides. So when we take log, we get log of 2 equals to, when I take log, this comes, we are applying the power rule also simultaneously. 52n log of all this, right? We can add it now. It is 50 to 12.5 divided by 5200. Okay. Now from here we can calculate n. So n is equals to log of 2 divided by all this, right? So divided by 52 times log of 5212.5 divided by 5200. Now you have to use your calculator and calculate the answer. So we have log of 2, log of 2 equals to divide this by so when you divide put brackets so we have 52 times log of within brackets 5212.5 divided by 5200 this is bracket for log and this is for the denominator equals to 5.551 so we get 5.551 so almost slightly more than five and a half years right so our answer is that in five and a half years approximately it is going to double right so it is in 5.55 years at times you may have to write your answer in months and years right in that case 0.55 should be multiplied by 12 right since there are 12 months so you can approximate this again six and a half so anyway so, you know, it is more than around five years and seven months. You can say approximately five years and seven months. You can say that, okay? Now, that is how you can answer this particular question. You can also write actually in terms of weeks since we were compounding in terms of weeks. So, you could write in terms of weeks also this particular answer, right? So, you can break it down to years and weeks. Let that be an exercise for you. But I hope you understand the concept. The concept is, if we have a compounding period which is 
weekly or monthly or quarterly or semi-annual we have to change the values of RNN as we did here right for quarterly we'll be dividing by 4 in this case and multiplying the time it is periodically compounded will be times 4 right semi-annually 2 times likewise we should be changing so this is important to understand I hope that helps thank you and all the best